I'm just going to show you what happens at the beginning of the day. I'm going to take the top off of the powder chamber. And I always put my cotton swab over top of the hole just because you don't want to get powder directly inside the hole. And you just empty your powder in. Put your top back on. And then turn your unit on to make sure that the powder fluffs, which it clearly can see on the window that it is. Before this occurs, you want to make sure that you turn the unit on and allow all the air to come out of that hole to dislodge any um, hardened pieces of powder. The insert is similar to the ultrasonic for the ProfiJet or air polisher, and you're going to want to encourage this line as well. Until you get the water drips out of it. You're going to want to make sure that this purges for at least 30 seconds. After 30 seconds has elapsed, you want to fill up your chamber. And place your tip in. The tip only goes in one way. The powder chamber um, connect is right here on the posterior of the handpiece. I'm going to push it down all the way until it clicks into place. You're now ready to begin. The ProfiJet is used for stain, extrinsic stain. And the placement of the tip angle is very important. For um, buckle and lingual, the tip is positioned at a 60 degree angle towards the gingiva. For the occlusal surface, the tip is positioned at a 90 de degree angle. Um, it can be uncomfortable for your patient if you position the tip incorrectly. The first click of the rheostat expresses water. The second click of the rheostat expresses both powder and water. A good clinician can keep the water inside the patient's mouth. So you'll want to do two or three teeth at a time and then rinse the surfaces that you've completed. It takes practice to get the patient's gingiva. At this angle you'll do two or three teeth at a time at the proper angulation and then afterwards you'll rinse. A good clinician can keep all the water and powder inside the patient's mouth by cupping the labial mucosa.